Yo, what's going on guys? So today's quick little video was something that I had planned for a couple of weeks ago. Long story short, I did this little Pelican case build to kind of optimize how I travel with a lot of my music equipment. I talked a little bit about it on my Instagram story. People really seemed to dig it. So I thought I would make this quick little video to put on YouTube. The build was totally inspired by John Mayer, but I had so much fun doing it. I'm probably just nerding out, but I think this stuff is fun and cool. I postponed this video just out of respect for the Black Lives Matter movement and the protests that are going on right now. And the vlog style format that this video originally had just doesn't really work under the circumstances. So just bear with me if this video seems a little jumbled. But let's start things off with some music. Here's a little beat that I recently made for a D'Angelico chill hop collab. Check this out. I hope you enjoy. some of you may know, due to the coronavirus situation in New York City, my wife and I decided to come down and stay with some family in Florida. In order to obviously make music and make videos, I had to bring quite a bit of gear down with me. In the next portion of this video, I'm going to talk about some of the music-related gear that I brought down with me, obviously including the Pelican case that I had such a good time building. So check this out. Now a lot of this stuff I have featured on the channel before, so I'm not gonna dive too deep into each of these items, but I will link up the corresponding videos, all that good stuff, so you can check these products out further. First up, the backpack, pretty self-explanatory. I'm still using this in-case backpack. It's pretty compact, it's pretty slim, but it can carry a lot of gear, computers, tablets, cables. Not really a music gear thing, but our computers and or tablets are a pretty essential part of what we do as music producers. Next up, I have a guitar with me. You guys know that I love these mono cases. This is a mono M80 guitar sleeve. Here's the guitar, all of the corresponding cables obviously. Very lightweight but also nice and padded to keep your guitar safe. I also did bring down this little pedal train nano pedal board. Obviously I don't have an amp with me so I just brought down a few pedals that I like to use when I'm running DI guitar. These two pedals, the Steel String Clean Drive and the Ultraphonics Overdrive are two pedals from Vertex and they are amp in a box type pedals. They're meant to emulate Dumble amps. It just adds a little bit of that amp sound into your guitar signal and then I have this Keely Aria. It's a compressor and drive combo. I do really like this compressor. It has a blend knob so you can blend between your dry sound and your compressed guitar sound. All the guitar that you heard in the track that I made for this video was using these pedals. But these little pedal train nanos are super inexpensive. It's a nice way to bring a few pedals with you if you are traveling. So for my guitarist friends, definitely check that out. And that brings us to the main event this Pelican case. I always looked at Pelican cases as like a camera gear solution for some reason. But a couple years ago, John Mayer did this Instagram live where he showcased one of his Pelican case builds. And I thought to myself, wow, that is such a great way to travel with your recording equipment, music production equipment, whatever. Let's pop it open and let's look inside. All right. So, if you're not familiar with Pelican cases, they pretty much come with two layers of this foam. And you can see it's perforated into these tiny little squares. And based on what you wanna carry in your Pelican case, you pluck out different dimensions of space. And depending on what you're carrying, it will determine how many layers you go into. So for example, in the case of these Audio-Technica headphones, I don't know how well you can see that, but you have to go down two layers of foam. Over here, I do have a surge protector, which is just nice to have. You never know when you're traveling. 
what kind of outlets or power situation you're gonna have. Now the main piece of gear is obviously this Arturia Keystep Pro. This is the new multi-track step sequencer that Arturia just put out. It also does MIDI and much, much more. But this is what I'm using for all of my MIDI sounds, synth, drums, everything. But you can see it's got three octaves. It's a little bit bigger than most portable MIDI keyboards. And it's also not cheap. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I was able to travel with this and that it would be protected. So, but as you can see, because of the size of it, we only needed one layer of foam. This is the real beauty of Pelican cases right here. This is what it's all about, folks. Underneath, we've got a whole nother layer of gear. We've got a microphone. This is the Aston Spirit condenser mic. I've got an Apogee Duet audio interface. And then over here, this is kind of the other piece to go along with the Keystep Pro. This is the Juno JU06A, and it's a boutique synth module. It's a Juno 60 and a Juno 106 combined into one little tiny portable synth module, which is super dope. It sounds so good. Two super iconic synthesizers now built into a tiny little synth module that I can control with my Keystep Pro. So those are my two little kind of quarantine passion projects, if you will. The other cool thing about these Pelican cases is should you choose to reconfigure them, these foam inserts just pop right out and you can order fresh layers of foam and do this whole process all over again to accommodate different layouts of gear and all of that good stuff. So in theory, you could have a few different setups for your Pelican case, depending on what kind of gear you're carting with you. But anyway, guys, it's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed nerding out on all of this gear stuff with me. I love this stuff, so hopefully you do too. But until next time, my name's Patrick. I'll catch you real soon, all right? Peace.